And I guess DBZ is your go-to? Yeah, I grew up on DBZ. I feel like it, it's like hard to say like who hasn't grown up on DBZ at this point. You know, I think everybody's had to watch it or experience it in some form or capacity. Um, I, I just don't like it when people try to like the hardcore anime thing. Oh, you like Dragon Ball? You don't know no, anime. That stuff I don't really care for because it's like it's it's fun and it's like you know yeah. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z paved the way for a lot of anime to be what it is now. It's it's the the, the quintessential shonen anime. So for me, it's just like, that's so weird that you don't like you like it in everything else you watch, but you don't like the original. Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And, you know, it's it's I get it. Like, I I know a lot of people aren't crazy about Dragon Ball Super. And I'm I'm, I'm one of those people. Like, I'm a DBZ fan and it doesn't. You don't like Dragon Ball Super. I like parts of it. I like parts of it. I like certain arcs. But there's some arcs of it that are just not great. You know, OK, t- I'm just going to say, do you not like when Jiren is introduced? Because Jiren is a badass. No, Jiren is awesome. The yes. tournament arcs are awesome. That's the best parts of it. Yeah. To me, they fumbled the bag with Future Trunks. They fumbled it. Future, Future Trunks, Trunks okay. Really cool. And then they just it just ended really weird. Like, Trunks saves his universe, but then he doesn't. Then they're just like, all right, we're going to make you a new universe. Happy ending. And you're just like... <laughs> like, what? Okay, like, we could have just... Like, why don't we just do that in the first place? Then just nuke the universe or whatever. Like, I don't know. It was just really weird to me. And it didn't really, like do anything for me so like i just um yeah like i don't know there's just missed opportunities a lot of missed opportunities i think frieza and his arc um his 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 rivalry with goku is one of the cooler things that are explored because it's like okay cool like we're seeing them in this capacity where it's not just ah, i hate you ah, i hate you it's like there's like his rivalry this tension where they have to be forced to work together sometimes and yes. there's a ability to like hey because i know how you are I almost trust you because you're the devil I know kind of deal. And I think there's something really cool there. Right. Have you read the manga to see the new form of Frieza, though? Yes. I, I, I'm i a little right up. I'm not caught up, but I do know about the new form of Frieza. Okay. I'm like, wow. Okay. They're going there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It just, it's just weird <laughs> to me because it's just like always like another form, another thing for Frieza. And I'm just like, I, I could just believe that he's just going to get stronger. Like, I don't need him to be golden. I don't need him to be like decked out I, I or just, black. <laughs> like yeah, black Frieza, like, you know come on <laughs> yeah especially because his final form is, is, is such a cool design i'm just like i don't need right it played with too too much you know yeah and i thought they could have done more with cooler absolutely i mean cooler has always been like a fumbled opportunity i mean i just i feel like they they they, they killed him and then they just jumped into meta cooler which was bleh, you know so it ain't uh, more meds than uh what's his name uh what do they do to Broly? Oh, the third Broly. Final oh. Broly. Oh, we're not. We don't talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but okay. So I have here. What's your favorite series, movie, and character of any anime? So series, I assume Dragon Ball, movie, mm. and character. So my favorite character out of any anime. Any, any, any. Ah. Uh, if I was going to go with Dragon, like growing up, I really, really liked Gohan. Um, it's going to sound weird not to always go with Goku, but I really liked Gohan because to me, he was like this very quintessential, like he doesn't want to be a fighter, but he's he's growing up in this crazy time where his dad is being killed by aliens and his planet and his friends are constantly being attacked. And he's kind of got to just, he's got to grok with it. You know what I mean? And he's like a kid. But his dad is with him all the time. Piccolo's right there training him. What? Ah, <laughs> well, Piccolo did get Piccolo got killed by Nappa, so he he died for a little. Oh while. yeah, so, well yeah. It's, I know it's Dragon Ball Z. When you're dead for like you're dead for like a week and then you're back, you know. But whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you don't mourn much. You're just kind of like, all right, let's let's start getting these Dragon Balls together, fellas. But no, Gohan. I really like that he's like he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to be this person, and then like you know he does that of necessity. And just when he gets pushed to his brink, he, he has overwhelming power that is almost inexplicable. Like it's it rivals Goku in such a way where Goku's training nonstop to be this way, to be this crazy badass. And it's like, go on. It's just like you piss him off. Like you push him too far. That strength will just come out of nowhere, you know. And I get it. Like that's what part of the reason why I don't like Super is that they completely destroy Gohan's character where it's like. It makes sense for him to grow into that. It does in a way. Like he just like, yeah, I'm just going to take care of my family. I'm going to be this family guy. I'm not a fighter. I'm not a true Saiyan. You know, I'm only half Saiyan. I'm a nerfling and whatever. I get it. But it's just like, hey, if your planet's being attacked and it's constantly being in danger and you're just kind of like, all right, back to studying. 
what are we doing, Gohan, man? <laughs> you're like the strongest person in the universe, but you're just like, nah. Like, you don't think it would benefit you to do a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> to set aside maybe two days to train a week. <laughs> <laughs> the Dude. Shape, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, my boy really likes Gohan, and I give him hell for it. I'm like, oh, okay. Have you seen the new movie though? The new movie was really good. I really was enjoyed it? it. Okay, I, I enjoyed a lot of it. I think some of it was a little ridiculous. I thought it was cool that they brought back the Red Ribbon Army. I thought it was cool that they yeah, had... I did see the RR. Yeah, okay. I thought it was cool that they did that. I wasn't crazy about just bringing back Cell for no reason. Like it was just like, okay, Cell. <laughs> You spoil too much, Leroy. Spoilers. All right, all right. Spoiler. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just wondering how you like it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But no, it's cool. And you know, the, the 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 I really like the focus on Gohan and Piccolo and their relationship. And I think that a lot of people really like if you if you enjoy if you're making jokes about like you know that's his dad, like you really see it in this movie. You know, like the, the mentorship. <laughs> well, boy. It is because Goku. I'm going to train. <laughs> but yeah, dad, so in that movie, Goku's literally just not. With Gohan, so that's why it's hilarious too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's doing but, his own thing as always. What I can't understand is you will diss on Super, but won't talk smack about GT. I will talk smack about GT, but I will right. say this: GT. I will, I will say this about GT. Super Saiyan Four is cool as hell, dude. Super Saiyan Four is before cool as all hell. that, you got to get to a lot of crap in order to get to Super Saiyan Four. For one, Super when Saiyan they go into space, is, is such a cool form though, and it makes sense. You have to have the, you have to pull back your tail. You have to see like the full, like it's it just such a cool, a, like full circle transformation. Like Super Saiyan God is just, yeah, now I'm blue now. Like Super Saiyan Four was like, no, like a true Saiyan strength comes from the moon. It comes from the the ape like, uh, great ape tendencies of being a Saiyan. And it was mm-hmm. like, oh, cool, that makes sense. That's why Goku and Vegeta are the ones that can do it because they're true Saiyans. The only true Saiyans left, like. Understandable. Not some weird thing where like, nah, they're just ones who got to God form, you know? Like, yeah, but, but Leroy, Leroy. No, I, so, I, I will completely admit that most of it is trash. Like it's 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 most of it is really hot garbage. It's a lot of fumbled opportunities. It's really weird. Like it's weird. Dude, I mean, no, when they're in space or whatever, there's that one dude and he acts like such a pedo. And it's like oh, no, no, it's it's weird. Uh, Toriyama didn't make it and it's Oh, it, I know he didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it absolutely shows. Like at least Super, like he's a part of Super. You know, he's got a lot of new writers, a whole obviously a whole new generation of people. But it's like yeah, GT is, is is very weird, very strange. Yes, and even the baby part is weird, where baby possesses Vegeta, and oh gosh, I don't want to get into it anymore. Why did I ask it? Arr. GT, it has left a stain on my brain that I can't get rid of. <laughs> oh man, but yeah.